Hi guys. You guys have been asking for a makeup routine for a long time. I just keep forgetting and I just, one, really don't like the comments. I feel like people leave when I do or even like talk about makeup. I don't like the comments like, you shouldn't wear makeup. So those comments just, I don't know, irk my nerves. So I just haven't really done it and I've forgotten. But I was like, you know what? I love doing makeup. I was in cosmetology, so I make up every day for work. I just really like it. I like trying out new things, um, new products. So I was like, you know what? Who cares about the comments? The men who are gonna be like, why do you wear makeup? Literally just click off. <laughs> this is for the girlies, okay? So I wanted to, I already have my base on because I completely forgot. I was like doing my makeup and I'm not doing much today. So I was like taking my time and I was like, you know what? Let me pull up my camera and film this for you guys but i have my foundation already on but i want to talk to you guys about the base since i already have it on but I, I can't show you but i do want to explain what i do because i feel like i don't know i feel like i have my base down i feel like it's pretty good um i always get compliments about my poreless skin i do have pores guys i just think the products i use are genuine like i genuinely believe that they play a huge part in this look so we'll start with primer i always wash my face moisturize sunscreen before doing my makeup a primer and i've been using this primer in particular for years it's been a long time it's just something i will never not use i hope they don't stop selling it it is the dr brandt pore refiner primer pores no more I always use this and I feel like this also plays a huge part in my poreless appearance. Um, it's non-comedogenic, doesn't break me out. And I feel like I've tried quite a bit of primers and they usually always break me out. So I really, really like this one. I have acne prone skin, so I have to be really particular with the products that I use on it. So this, I cannot recommend enough. I will have it linked down below. I'll have all these linked down below. Um, I also really like the, the Urban Decay All Nighter Longwear Foundation Grip Face Primer. Sometimes I'll combine these two if I need them to last really long. And depending on the day, how long I need my makeup to last, how I'm feeling, I'll either use foundation or I'll just do a bunch of cream based products. So I'll do like, I really like Shape Tape Tarte Double Duty Concealer. So I'll do my concealer and then I'll go in and just do like cream bronzer and cream blush. I feel like it gives a more natural look, um, a little more of a dewy glow. So I'll do that sometimes on my like gym days or if I'm just out running errands. Today, since I'm filming quite a bit, I'm gonna just do it foundation. I also really like the milk, the milk bronzer and blush that's cream as well. So foundation, I used today and what I've been using, I always mix. I never just use one foundation. I don't know why, it's just, I prefer mixing. I feel like one, it gets the color better because if, I, if I'm if i not perfectly matched and I just use one, I feel like my, it'll just look off. I got this in LA and I really, really like it. It is Laura Mercier Real Flawless Weightless Perfecting Foundation. I believe it, it's a medium, full coverage lasts really long and I'm someone because I have people have commented on it before the nasolobial folds uh it's just genetic and so makeup tends to really crease right there and I notice when I use this even after wearing it all day I don't have as noticeable crease lines as other foundations I've tried I'll also occasionally mix the Giorgio Armani I really like this one I kind of like the matte one more um, I'm someone who I have acne prone skin, but I also all of a sudden have become really oily. So throughout like a few hours after wearing foundation, I feel like I just look like a glazed donut and not in a good way. So I like the matte one better. I just feel like I need mattifying products because even with my matte products, I still get really shiny, but I feel like it takes longer to get shiny. You don't like a matte look, the luminous silk will be fine for you. My go-to is the Tarte Hydroflex. Now, this was supposed to be, I feel like I talk about this all the time. I loved the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea. Hands down, the best foundation ever. 
like I kid you not, I would just use that alone. I didn't have to mix it with anything. It was buildable coverage, gave me no pores, held up, it was so, so nice. It was a water-based foundation, didn't break me out. And then they got rid of it. And I kid you not, I wanted to cry. Like I went into a panic because so many foundation, like I've tried so many and they just either cling to my dry patches, crease really easily, or just don't give me a poreless look. I end up looking like patchy, splotchy. I don't know, but that was the one that worked for me. And of course, I feel like every time I really like a product, they end up getting rid of it. So they got rid of that. I switched it for the Tarte Hydroflex. We really like it, especially when mixed. I don't know, I just really like water-based foundations. I feel like it gives you that poreless look. Even though it's not as good as Rainforest the Sea, I still really recommend it. Um, I don't think I could do my foundation without these. Like, I always use this and then I mix it with some others, but this is something I always use. Yeah, this is just a go-to staple. Always have to restock. I prime, do my foundation, and then I do a concealer. I shape tape, just the double duty one. I've used this for years as well. I feel like it works, covers my acne, covers my dark circles, so it doesn't break me out. And then after that, I go in with setting spray. No. I like the Urban Decay All Nighter Spray. Or lately I tried this, I use it sparingly again, just because, I don't know, it's mattifying waterproof, so it's probably not the best for your skin. But I used this in Texas, because Christine had it. And Texas, was it was like 100 degrees, humid, we were working out outside, and I didn't have to redo my makeup that night, and I guarantee you it was because we sprayed the crap out of our face with this. I don't think it would have lasted like my makeup would have lasted the whole day had I not. Again, cannot recommend this enough. I would use it sparingly though because I feel like if you're using it all the time, it might break it out. After I do that, I always set it with Maybelline Matte Powder. Um, I just don't like the feeling of wet foundation on my skin. But I just feel like this helps my makeup last longer as well because when I leave it dewy, I feel like it just slides off, creases more. So. That's my base, <gasps> quite a bit, quite long, but it works, I love it. So I forgot one of the main details of how I apply the foundation. So, see this big old thing? I don't use a brush. I just don't like the brush. Application for foundation for me personally, I find it gets streaky. I really like the sponge, but not just any sponge, not the tiny sponge, not this sponge, because this sponge takes forever to apply, because like, look how tiny it is. No, gotta have the big sponge. See the size difference? I like it damp, don't do it wet. It won't apply the foundation right. You don't want it wet at all. You want it slightly damp, so I usually wet it and then wring it out and like, get it dr more dry just because I just want a little bit damp. It applies so much faster and I just, I always use this. Now we're going to bronze. My bronzer is Tarte Hotel Eris. I believe it's waterproof, which is why I got it because I just feel like hot summer day, it holds up really well. I always contour, I do the E or three, however you wanna say it. So I do my forehead, my cheekbone, and then my jawline. Um, Cause I have a big old forehead, so I really have to contour that. Yeah. And I'm taking this Real Techniques brush, the Custom Contour. I also feel like lighting can play a huge role into how it looks. Cause like in this lighting, I just feel like I did way too much Oh, also, this is the brush I use, Real Techniques um, powder brush for this. Lots of contour for the five head. Under the jawline to give that snatched look, and you always want to blend it down. Yes, 
I also always use a headband. It gets dirty and they're cheap from Target, but I have to have my hair pulled back. And normally I just throw on YouTube when I do my makeup. I'm not really like a listen to music type. I used to be, but now I just love like having something to watch or like a podcast to listen to. I also really like Kayla Lachey, my girl. Her, she's so consistent on YouTube. It's literally so like, she motivates me to be consistent because holy cow, she has three YouTube channels and posts, I feel like every week on every one, she, yeah. I've been watching her for years. We follow each other and I was like, oh my God. Who knows contour? So I take a little brush that I got from Ipsy, blending brush by Elizabeth Mott. And I do down here. And then I do right up here. And you kind of make a circle. So give that like illusion of a little button nose. It's gonna look harsh at first, but then you blend it in and it'll be, you'll be fine. And then we contour at the bridge. So I like to do like a thin line to make the bridge appear smaller. I'm an illusionist over here, okay? I kind of want to go get more filler because it's been probably like two years since I've gotten any and I feel like my top lip is just kind of deflated. I'm fine with my bottom lip. I just need a little bit more on my top. Okay, and then after that, we're going to bake just for a little bit. Um, I don't bake on days that it doesn't matter if my makeup stays or not, but like if I'm filming all day, I have to go outside and it's hot, I'm gonna bake. I got the Laura Mercier Translucent Loose Powder. This is the Ultra Blur. I have a sponge it under my eyes because I do crease there sometimes. And then nose and then Nanolobia Fold. So I crease there. You can also go in if you want your, contour, your nose contour a little bit more. Contour, just put on my sides and then forehead. Cause I crease on my forehead. And now we're gonna do our lips and mascara while we leave this on. That's usually how I do it. Just because I don't wanna just sit here doing nothing when I could be doing something else. I get asked this question a lot too. Like this is probably my most asked makeup question is my lips. So I don't use like lipstick or anything like that. I literally just use lip liner and I use it all over. Maybe that's why I go through it so fast. But I love Huda Beauty's lip liners. Um, they're, I use, I own oh, majority of their shades. I love it that much. It's always on repurchase. I really like the pinky brown, the warm brown, and the terracotta. I literally just line my lips and then I fill in in the corners because I feel like that gives the illusion of fuller lips as well. Line the cupid's bow. So like this. In the corner. And then we're gonna fill in right here. Warm brown. I'll usually go in with like the pinky brown or like a lighter pinkier shade in the middle just to give my lips a little bit of color tissue or something and kind of like kind of blend it and then i literally just use chapstick that's all i do that's all i use um it lasts me all day i rarely have to touch up um, maybe if i'm like eating a big meal again i go in with chapstick once i'm done because right now my lips look a little, look a little dry but don't worry they look glossy and full once i put on my chapstick and then mascara we're gonna curl my eyelashes. Um, I really, really like this one. I got it in like a kit. It had like multiple in it and I really, really like it. I'll probably repurchase. It's the Mac Stack. Looks like this. Really like it, making my eyelashes full. And I really like Lancome Hypnos Drama. I've used this for a while. It's waterproof. 
So I really like these two. Camila shades. I need a new one. I used to have really nice like eyelashes that completely curled and as I got older, I don't know what happened, but now they just either go down or straight. There's no curl left to them. So, I don't know, like as you get older, does the curl pattern just change? I don't understand. So I always have to curl them or else it just, I don't know. Okay, so sometimes I do this, sometimes I don't. I guess I'll show you guys, so I'll do it today. So after I curl, if I'm doing like a full beat, uh, like if I'm taking Instagram pics or something or going out, I do my eyes first. So I'll do tape, right? I'll put tape right here. That way I get a really sharp wing and eyeshadow. But most of the time I don't do that, um, but it really does help with the wing. And then I literally just use bronzer for my eyeshadow. Um, even when doing the like tape full face thing, it's just so much easier. I feel like it makes my, makes my eye pop. It's a lot sharper when I do have the tape, but I just put it in the crease. And in the corner, blend. Ipsy again, I use it sparingly because I don't know where else to find it. It's also dirty. It's the DLS eyeshadow crayon. Fetch, I guess is the color. It's like a shimmery gold. And it really makes my eyes pop and I literally just put it in the inner corner. The Tarte Double Take one in brown. So I like this one because it has a pencil and liquid and I only do the liquid when I have the tape because I feel like I mess up a lot on my own with the liquid so I need tape. So I literally just do a wing at the corner and then only, like I, it's not full, I just do like a little tail basically. Down here, connect it. Because then I also come and do like a little line, extended line out here. I got them on my lid. This always happens. Um, I don't know how to like not have that happen to be honest. So. Or after. Alrighty, both eyes are done. I swear, once you get the eyes done, it really completes the look. This, filling my brows a little bit, I feel like they've got foundation all over them. The um, brow microfilling pen in light brown. I also really like the um, Precisely My Brow by Benefit as well, 2.5 shade, um, just to kind of fill it in, give like an outline. But this, I don't know, just I feel like. I really like the look of dark brows with blonde hair. So I personally like a bold brow. I need a new show to watch, guys. I finished Love Island. Um, Last of Us. I rewatched Wayward Pines, that's on Hulu, 10 out of 10 recommend. I really like that. I'm kind of bummed they didn't do a season three. I think it would have been cool to see what happens next, but I don't think that many people knew about it, I guess. I don't know, the ratings weren't high enough, but I liked it. I thought it was interesting. Oh, brows done. Now we're gonna use this little brush um, from Ulta and get the setting powder off. We're gonna use some blush because I need some color. Okay. And I got this from um, Ipsy as well. It's Violet Voss, uh, Peachy Perfect. I love this color for summer. 
gives you a sun-kissed look. I don't really change up my routine a lot, but one thing that I feel like made a big difference in me changing is one, I would literally just put the blush like right here. Um, but now I really like the look of where you put it here along the nose, kind of like in a, like a W. Yeah, I guess it does make a W. Uh, I just feel like it looks like you've been out in the sun all day. Like, it's just really cute. Oh, crap. I know y'all thought it. It's just like a giant dot. Um, put it right here. Put it under my eyes a little bit. I just like to look like I've been in the sun all day or I fell in front of a bunch of people and now I'm like embarrassed. I don't know. And I'm blushing. I, have crazy, I feel like I just had crazy eyes. Okay, I don't think I put enough on. Uh, less is more. We'll build up. My mirror keeps messing up. You see that? It's blinking. What is going on? It's charging, so I don't know why it's doing it. A little bit on the nose, and I do a little bit on the forehead. And then highlight, I really like this. It's Ofra Highlighter in Star Island. The inner corners, above my eyebrow. Right here, right here, and on the bridge. And then on the cupid, and then right here. And that's literally it. I don't usually do right here, most people do, but I get so oily that I don't need to put it there because within like an hour, this will be shiny. So I just don't like adding extra highlight to that area. This is last step. Besides chapstick and setting spray, we're going to again, take the liquid part of the eyeliner and just go in this little corner and draw it out to give the fox eye illusion. Ugh, this part always makes me so nervous because literally it's so easy to mess up. But you guys get the gist. We set it. And then literally chapstick is the last thing I do. I really like the birds and bees little, um, this one. This little thing. It's like right in front of my window in natural light. So this is what I'll look like outside. I feel like it looks a little pink. Like maybe I added a little too much blush. But. Overall, this is what it looks like. Um, yeah. Okay. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will catch up with you guys at the end of the day to see how my makeup held up. Finished filming. I edited a little bit. I ate. Surprisingly, I didn't get any on my chin. But I feel like I'm looking a little shiny. No creases though. So I'm gonna shower now. The way I remove my makeup, so my cellar water, and then I okay. cleanse. I'm not feeling so well, so I'm gonna shower, go to bed. I just wanna say thank you for watching. I know it took me a while, like a hot minute, to film the makeup review. Um, I just don't like the comments where it's like, you shouldn't wear makeup, mama. It just annoys me. It really annoys me. Because, like, it's not your face. Why does it bother you? I enjoy doing makeup. I enjoy doing hair. I like trying out new styles. So, so that's my full face makeup routine. It takes me about, like, an hour. I can usually whip it up pretty quick. Um, even if I do this at the gym, I usually don't break out. I feel like I am really good about making sure. I try and make sure a majority of my products are non-comedogenic. And I feel like over the years, I've just found what works for my skin, what doesn't. So I'll have all the products that I use linked down below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.